the number of Holocaust survivors continues to dwindle. The 2023 Claims Conference Global Demographics Report recording just 245,000 Jewish survivors remain. But it also reveals a lot more and provides crucial data the organization needs in order to continue providing services. First of all, it helps focus the German government, most importantly, on the number of Holocaust survivors who remain with us, uh, their age, their needs, their geographic distribution. Uh, and of course, from here, we'll be doing projections of how long they'll live and the different, the different types of services that they'll need. The remaining survivors span at least 90 countries, with 49% of the population living in Israel. Today's Jewish Holocaust survivors are mostly child survivors, beginning with those who were in utero during the Holocaust. The youngest is 77 years old, and the median age is 86, with the oldest known survivors over 100 years of age. And of course, at 85, you see a pretty significant trigger for the need of home care for help within the home, and then by 90, pretty substantial. So getting them the assistance needed is more urgent than ever. The Claims Conference works to get compensation for Holocaust survivors, pensions, one-time payments, help with home care, food and medical needs, as well as a range of welfare services. In 2023, Three, the organization was able to provide help to more or less 40% of survivors. But aside from financial and welfare assistance, the data points towards something just as vital. We should be visiting with them. We should be making sure they're not lonely and that they have the, the resources and the help they need. But almost in a way, more importantly, for what they can give to us, the stories, the lessons, uh, not only about persecution, but about tenacity and strength and resilience. A generation with a brave message of resilience to be revered long after they leave this world.